Hello everyone. I am Venkatesh Bingi, working as an assistant professor in CSC department of Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today we are going to discuss Amazon EC2 service, which is provided by Amazon. So before starting EC2 service, we will discuss about the outcome of this video. At the end of this session, student will be able to create instances of EC2. Second, deploy applications by using EC2 service. So what exactly Amazon EC2 service is? Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud that is, Amazon EC2 provides scalable computing capacity in the Amazon Web Services Cloud. It eliminates your need to invest in hardware upfront so you can develop and deploy application faster. For example, suppose you have developed some application and you want to make it live without purchasing hardware. Then that time you can deploy that application by using Amazon EC2 service on AWS and you can make that application live. Next, you can use Amazon EC2 to launch as many or as few virtual server as you need, configure security and networking and manage storage. So this is a flexibility which is given by the Amazon EC2 which you get according to your requirement you can increase the capacity of hardware, networking capacity and storage capacity you can manage. It also enables you to scale up or down to handle changes in the requirement or spikes in the popularity reducing your need to forecast traffic. And there is auto scaling functionality which is provided by the EC2. Next some services. Virtual computing environment known as instances. It provides a virtual environment in the form of instances. Pre-configured templates for your instances known as Amazon machine images that packages bits your need for your server. So Amazon machine image is like a copy of virtual operating system which you get on your Amazon AWS. Various configurations of CPU, memory, storage, networking capacity for your instances known as instance type. So by using this EC2 service, you can configure CPU, memory, storage devices, networking capacity also you can decide for your instance type. Secure lo your login information for your instances using key pairs. By using public and private key you can secure your account. Storage volume for temporary data that is deleted when you stop or terminate your instances known as instance store vo volumes. So this is one of the best feature which you get for uh, Amazon EC2. And uh, you also get persistent storage volumes for your data using Amazon Elastic Block Store that is Amazon EBS and uh, you also get multiple physical locations for your resources such as instances and Amazon EBS volumes known as regions and availability zones. So these are the features which uh, are uh, featured by the Amazon EC2 service. And a few more, a firewall that enables you to specify the protocols, port, source IP ranges that can reach your instances using security groups, static IPv4 addresses for dynamic client computing known as elastic IP addresses, metadata known as tags that you can create and assign to your Amazon EC2 service. So you can get a static IPv4 address for your uh, application if it is required and uh, you can do the tagging for your application also. Virtual network you can create that are logically isolated from the rest of AWS cloud and that you can optionally connect to your own network known as virtual private clouds. So you can create virtual networks by using Amazon EC2 service 
for your own application according to your requirement now how exactly uh, to use amazon ec2 service on aws that we are going to discuss in order to do that first you log into amazon aws by using your account log into aws management console sign into the console you enter your username password now in order to create your user now we logged into this amazon aws account go to this ec2 service click on it click on ec2 now you can see zero running instances uh, zero dedicated host zero elastic ips now uh, we want to create uh, instance of ec2 so what you say launch instance here you can select uh, amazon uh, machine image ami which we discussed uh, in during slide show what i'll do i'll select uh, one windows free tier eligible operating system uh, which is of 64 bit i selected this so this is first step of creating instance then uh, it is asking for instance type that is how many cores it is required how much memory it is required uh, now i'm going for this free tier eligible one cpu one gb main memory this is internal storage type ebs uh, so i'm selecting this because it is free of cost review and launch then you go to next you can say you can select edit storage now uh, this is uh, the secondary memory for your application i selected by default it is 30 i'll uh, go with the same add tag if it is required uh, you can add tag for your application this feature is required when you are using multiple application now uh, here it is not required uh, now security related uh, changes also you can do like you know you can create your new security group or select existing security group which we'll discuss later and uh, see this is the type of uh, connection by which you can con connect to this service rdp tcp protocol the port number is this you can give ip address source ip address and uh, once you give this you say review and launch then finally you say launch and here you say choose an existing key pair i say launch instances so once you get this message that means what you have uh, successfully created an instance for ec2 service and uh, the id it is this so once you click on it you can uh, see instance is in the process of creation this is the instance id and the instance type t2.micro and the instance is created under the availability zone us west 2a still it is in the process so it is showing pending once it is ready it will show ready it is getting initialized status checking this is public dns address ipv4 
so my ipv4 address is 54.149.180.189 and uh, you can also check uh, the details uh, of configuration for your ec2 instance clicking this down button so this is the instance id which already discussed instance state now it is in running state now it has been in the state of execution that is running you got uh, ip address for your instances also which is live ip address instance type is t2.micro private dns this is for internal purpose private ip this is again for internal purpose and this is uh, the built in security group launch wizard and ami id also you can see if windows server 2019 version we have created so like this we can create uh, instances now the instance has been created now uh, whatever uh, the hardware configuration which you got with this instance you can configure your application on this hardware now suppose i want to you oh know make any changes to instance suppose i want to stop this instance you say stop yes stop so once it got stop you can see the status instance status that is stopping uh, so it is uh, still it is in the process of uh, no stopping again if you want to start again you can say start once if it has been stopped and if you want to terminate you can terminate your instance if it is not required so you can see the warning message on ebs back instance the default action is to root ebs volume to be deleted when the instance ter is terminated storage on the local drive will be lost if you still you want to ignore this warning you can say yes terminate yes terminate once it is terminated see be careful when you are creating any instance on ad aws because uh, it is some services are not uh, free of cost so you say sign out so once you sign out of it that means you have completed this now so this is how we have uh, created ec2 instances now pause this video for some time and answer this question which of the following feature is used for scaling of ec2 sites first question second amazon dash dash provides developers the tool to build failure resilient applications and isolate themselves from common failure scenarios think for some time and answer this so the first answer is auto scaling the second one is ec2 these are the references which i used to create this video thank you